In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear parking brake shoes on your Ford Expedition. Using a 22 millimeter socket, remove the six lug nuts. Remove the wheel, remove the black caps, and it'll expose our caliper fasteners. Using a seven millimeter hex bit, we're gonna remove the caliper bolts. We're gonna use a flat blade screwdriver and go where these pins are. And we're gonna push them and make sure they're not contacting the caliper bracket. Then we can pull our caliper out. Take the pads out of the caliper. And pull towards you. And pull the pins out of the cup and remove the pad. Do the same thing on this side. Then using a hook, I'm gonna hang the caliper so that there's no tension on this hose. Using an 18 millimeter socket, remove the bracket bolts. Remove the bracket, remove the rotor. Using a right angle pick, we're gonna get under the top spring. We're gonna pull. Slide it out of the other side and remove the top spring. I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom one. And remove it. You can pull your adjuster out. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, I'm gonna leave them slightly open and push down. And it'll push this clip in. And then once it's all the way down, I'm gonna grip and turn the pin. And the clip will pop out. You can take your shoe off and then remove the pin out of the back of the backing plate. Do the same thing on the other side. Using a wire brush, we're gonna clean all of the contact points for the shoe. We'll also clean up in here. Using some brake parts cleaner, I'm gonna spray around all of the area and get any of the dust out. This is not a mandatory step. And then wipe it with a clean rag. Using a bit of brake lube, we're gonna hit all of the spots that the shoe is gonna make contact with.
Put the pin through the backing plate. Get the new shoe in place. Grab our locking tab. To set this up, we want our pin with the flat part in the vertical position. And with the pliers slightly open, we're going to press that pin down. Grab our pin and twist it into the locked position. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Put the adjuster in the fully closed position and install it between the shoes. Using a pair of locking pliers, we're going to install the bottom spring. Using a pair of locking pliers, we're going to install the top spring. We're going to lock our pliers onto it. And we're going to feed it under this parking brake lever. May be helpful to use a flat blade screwdriver to help you keep the spring in front of the shoe. I'm putting in this far side first, and then I'm going to pull this way and install the spring into that little stay. Just like that. Install the rotor. Install the caliper bracket. Snug the bolts down. Torque the bracket bolts to 140 foot pounds. Put the pins into the caliper. Using a little bit of brake lube, we're going to hit the pads where they're going to slide on this caliper. I'm also going to put a little bit of lube where the piston is going to sit. Install the pad into the caliper. Make sure it's fully seated. And we can slide the next one in, just like that. And we can install our assembly. We're going to start at the top and then twist down. Make sure your pins aren't hitting the bracket or the knuckle.
get the pin started. Snug them down. Torque them to 28 foot-pounds. Install the caps. I'm going to spray the face of the rotor with a little bit of copper spray. This will help the wheel not stick. Install the wheel and get the lug nuts started. Snug them down. Torque the lug nuts to 150 foot-pounds in a star pattern. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.